I will illustrate in this video how to take text and wrap it around a graphic image on a Weebly website page. Right now you're viewing a blank Weebly page. So first I need to add a graphic image. I'm going to go over to my graphic elements, select image and drag it onto my blank page. I'm going to quickly add an image that we can wrap text around. At this point, you can see by the bounding box that the graphic image spans the width of the entire web page. However, I would like to add text along the right and bottom side of this image. So what I will do is I will select the text icon and I will drag it onto the page, but I'm going to hold down until I move all the way to the far right and I see the vertical light blue line next to the graphic image. When I release, you will notice that it has now made two columns. If I click in the edit text, it will highlight and paste text here. It's made two columns. However, I want text below the graphic image as well. So what will I do? I'll add another text box. Now if I add the text box and I move it just below the graphic image, you're gonna see the horizontal blue line. If I do so and I release, this text will only span directly underneath the image. But if you notice, if I hover over the center of this text box, I click and I hold and I drag down, I see the light blue line horizontally across the entire web page. Once I see that, I will hit release, and now my text will span all the way across. I will select and paste text into this image. This now gives you the illusion that the text is wrapped around this graphic image. Proportions, however, are not correct. I have two options. My first option is to select this little blue dot when I'm hovering over the image, hold and drag to increase the size, and it will give me the illusion of text wrapping around the image. Or, I can make this smaller, and I have another option. I can actually hover until I get the light blue vertical line with the two arrows left and right. I click, hold, and I drag. And now I can actually make my right side column larger. Once I do that, then I can go back and select this image and I can resize appropriately.